It's all right. Let me get this right. You, you're speaking to this guy on the net, and you, you've never seen a picture of him, and you don't know what he looks like or anything like that. I mean, God, don't you think it's risky? Kathy, look, I don't know, but all I know is that I can't... <laughs> <laughs> I just can't find a decent guy in this town, and he's really nice. Oh, well, I understand. Me. We're all single, but, you know, girls thought Ted Bundy was nice. You know. <laughs> uh, he was nice, except he murdered girls. God, you're sick. No, like you slash them to pieces. Okay, okay. Can we get it over the Ted Bundy thing? Look, let's meet after work on the roof. I need some sun. Oh, I'll see you there. Hello? Oh, hello, Alex. <coughs> no, he's on the sofa. He's eating pizza with the dog. <coughs> yep. <coughs> okay. Tell him not to feed any anchovies to the dog. It'll give him gas. Mom, tell Alex I'll call him back in a minute from my cell phone. Don't feed any anchovies to the dog. But Spanish olives are okay. Alright, I'll call you back, okay? What did he have to say about Spanish olives? <coughs> Hi Alex. You did what? You looked her up? What did you find out? Yeah, I checked her out on the computer. She's not a 43 year old man, so that's some good news. I already knew that, you Scottish twat. God, Louise, there's nothing I can do to please this man. Do you understand? Lily, I know he's impossible, okay? I deal with him every day. But I need you here. He's coming in very soon. And he's not happy. Darling, he is not happy. I can't believe you people screwed up my book like this. <laughs> I didn't spend years writing this book to have it screwed up by some blonde bimbo. You people better get this right or I'm going to sue. All right, Do you all understand right. me? Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. We get it. All right. Oh, we only have your book Shut to up, deal you with. Shut up, stupid woman. This book is my life's work. I wrote this book about my story, my life in Johannesburg. Oh, God, it's not the bloody Bible. All right, all right. Everyone calm down. Uh, let's just go for a drink. Do you want to go for a drink? Let's go for a drink. Oh God, Brandon's gonna kill me. <laughs> I can't believe I got a card from him. That is Look so at sweet. It. Oh, oh wow. Oh. So you think that was funny? But toying with my emotions but like that? But giving I me a card and saying that you love me? I mean I oh, come on, Marjorie. It was just a joke. Look, Chris, I don't need someone matchmaking for me. I can get my own dates, okay? Oh, come on, Brandon. You know you're a friend. I was only looking out for you. We, we all want to see you dating and stuff. And Marjorie really likes you. Don't you see the way she looks at you? And I'm not one to have someone toying with my emotions and playing with my love life. Do you hear me? God, Marjorie, can't you take a joke? Oh, you can't. Oh, sorry. Hey, buddy, you better make it a double. You see that blonde over there? I think I'm going to score with her tonight. And then when I was on safari in Kenya, I killed a lion. So, should we go to my place? Oh, look. It's, it's been a long day and I just want to go home to bed and not <laughs> Ugh, I'm a wanker. Yeah, she wanted me. Hello? Brandon, where are you? I need the car. Keep your panties on, Mum. I'm just at the bank depositing some money. I'll be home soon. And then, and then when I was at the library, I left my book there. So if, like, when you come back, can you bring my book back? And, and because I, I, like, I needed to study. Oh, that's a lot of money, Brandon. Where did you get a lot of money from? And then he thought because he'd been hunting and he'd killed a lion, that that would really impress me. Oh my well, God. Um, you know me and uh, killing animals does not impress me. No, it doesn't impress me either. I can't believe he thought that was going to work with you. Oh, well, you know, they'll try anything, won't they? So what happened then, eh? Um, well, uh, I got a gun and shot him. Well, he bloody deserved it, didn't he? I hope you got him right in the ghoulies. Mum! Yeah? I'm home! I can have the car now. It's about time, Brandon. I've been waiting for hours. 
You have to learn responsibility, Brandon, and you have to go and buy a car. I know you got money in the bank. Go and get yourself a car and you can park it Mom. in the garage. That's all Mom, fine. You know I'm trying to save money to buy a house. I've got some earplugs upstairs if you want them, son. Don't be a smart ass, Jerry. Uh, I'll take them, Dad. I love you will be mine. I want to ravish you. And may I say you have one hot booty. Don't be afraid, my precious. Come to me. Come with me to my ship and we will make mad passionate love. Listen, you geeky boy. Go get your own placey.